20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. How are you doing? We are on the beach today in Pattaya. Yes, I'm in Pattaya. I got on an airplane and it landed in Pattaya. So here I am. And before we get started, I want to tell everyone, thank you so very much for all the feedback and the kind words and the messages and Patreons and comments. Everybody that just contacted me after the last video of uh, dying in Thailand with all your well wishes, I really do appreciate everything that that I got from you. And for those of you that reached out and told me about your own personal situations, I wish you really, I wish you the best and just hang in there. Uh, feel free to come on over and say, hey, anytime you want to and or message me, uh, it's, no worries. I will talk to you then and thank you so very much. Hang in there. What I wanna talk about today, I got a question that I had not even thought of. This is a basic uh, newbie video because I had not thought about it. Having lived on a beach, for the past 14 years of my life, 14, 15, 15, 14, 14, 15 years of my life, I have completely gotten used to high seasons and low seasons. But I didn't even think, or, and snowbirds. If you're from Florida, you know what a snowbird is. Sorry, snowbird is uh, people that live up north. When it gets cold, they come down south, then they go back up in the snowbird. But I've got a few questions lately on what is a high season, low season? What is a difference in high season and low season? What causes the difference in high season and low season? So let's do a basic high season, low season. The number one thing here in Thailand about high season and low season is the weather because Asia being as tropical as it is, that it, it, that it is. From around March, April to around October-ish is our low season. And the reason they call it low season is basically lack of tourism and lack of good weather. So we have our rainy season at that time, which means it can just be sporadically or days of rain. If you've never lived by beaches, beaches can bring in sudden rainstorms that end very abruptly and it's not even that big of a deal. But even down in Kamala, it, it can last for days. So typically in the low season, those months between April and October, March and October, it, it rains a lot and becomes a low season for Asia. Low season is also in coordination with other countries time for holiday. Russians take their holidays at certain times of the year. Americans take theirs at certain times of the year, etc., etc. So high season typically depends on when the rest of the world is on vacation. So in high season, it's very busy with people from different countries at certain points in time. And low seasons, everyone's back at work and it's raining in Asia. That's probably the most simplest way I could make high season and low season uh, explainable. Now let's talk about what's affected in high season and low season here in Thailand. Any place on a beach, Hattaya, Phuket, and any of the islands are completely different in high season. And by that, yes, very simple. Prices go up, hotels go up, beer goes up. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of places will go into a high season uh, menu. I have seen more restaurants change their menu per year, which is a normal thing around the world. So I wouldn't say it was four season, but it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if some places like Patong actually have two different menu sets, one for high season and one for, it wouldn't surprise me a bit, especially the hotels. The hotels can vary from in a low season being 600 baht a night up to 2600 baht a night in high season. It can be that bad. Which goes back into what we were saying in the other video about where is everybody this year, This you know, because the, the Thai baht currency is very strong against the world now. So that's very expensive when you do the conversion rate compared to what it was years ago. I've got a lot of feedback from people saying that in the high seasons over here has gotten so bad that they've just opted out not to come this year. It's just that bad. But is all the prices in Thailand affected by high season is no. And is all the tourism affected by high season equal around Thailand? No. Bangkok is busy all the time. Yeah, there might be a few more people here and there during a high season, but not like beaches. Beaches are the ones that just take the brunt force of all the tourism where people are just packing in and the hotel prices are going up. Bangkok, usually the prices stick around the same pretty much year round. And even 
northern when you're going up into the Isan areas is really just not affected pretty much at all. Taxi cab prices, it depends. If you're getting a metered taxi cab, they, they don't change too much. You have your day rates and your night rates. Night rates are more expensive because they're taking people home from the bars and stuff, so they raise it. But seasonally wise, I haven't noticed a huge difference in metered cabs at all. Where I live, we have a taxi uh, group that pretty much just commands a, a price of whatever they have set it at. And I have not noticed the difference because it's stupidly expensive in Phuket to get a taxi cab anyway. A 45 minute ride to the airport will cost you 700 baht. A 45 minute ride in Bangkok probably only cost you 150 baht. 45 minute ride here in Pattaya on a bot bus will only cost you 20 baht. Max. So if you're on a budget and you don't mind rain or don't mind taking the chance of having some weather issues, Low season, low season, go to the beach. You're still gonna have a good time. You're still gonna see, well, the beach isn't as beautiful. The way the, the way the currents run, so the water's not gonna be as blue. It's gonna be a darker color, but you can still experience the joys and wonders of Thailand, but on a budget. Like I said, maybe even at 600 baht a night for the room instead of 2600 baht. But if you want the best optimum conditions that you can get, you come in high season. Right now we're in high season. It's January. It hasn't rained too much. We have wonderful weather. The humidity, oh, I forgot to tell you about the humidity. In low season, with all the rain, and it, it is also the hottest part. April the 12th, that week, is Songkran, which is the hottest part of the year in Thailand. April the 12th, hot, 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 hot. Hot. Did I say hot? Did I say hot? So that's another thing to take into consideration is uh, your adaptability to extreme humidity uh, and heat. Again, I've lived over here for so long now. I just sweat and doesn't. I just, sweating over here is just a normal thing if you live here. You just you, you're sweating. You just sweat. So that's high season and low season. Up in Isan, up in the north, it's not really affected. The weather will, will change. Of course, the weather changes, but the people and the prices, no. Still dirt cheap, still can go up there and have peace and quiet and see old school Thailand the way Thailand used to be. Down here, down here at all the beaches though, no. They're catching up with the rest of the world. Prices are going up, everything's getting inflated. There's plenty of stuff to do here, but they know that you're coming and so all the prices get raised. However, I have seen it backfire a little bit. I have seen some of the prices get raised and then the next season, they have taken the prices back down because they saw that it backfired completely. So I hope there's gonna be some middle ground somewhere at some point and Thailand kind of stabilizes on pricing because the reason that Thailand was so beautifully attractive in the beginning was wonderful people, wonderful views. And wonderful pricing. Unfortunately this year, that seems to have slipped away just a little bit more. So I hope that explains a little bit. I hope I answered some questions. Again, if you've been here many times, you already knew most all of this or more. And please in the comments, if you have anything to add to this that I've forgotten, please list in the comments of things that you see in the high season versus the low season that I didn't address because I haven't seen everything. I don't usually leave the house that much. Thank you guys, love you, I'll see you later.